Hi guys, so we're going to look at uh, this topic which is uh, congruence and similarity. So now uh, let us see how questions come in the exam on uh, this topic. So we're going to proceed and uh, see what is happening here. So basically uh, the interest here is uh, we look at ratios, what happens, you need to be very familiar with how to handle ratios so that will be a very key factor that will help okay let us proceed we see what happens so we have the first question here which is uh, the ratio of the surface area of two cubes is uh, 16 to 25 what is the, the volume of the smaller cube if the volume of the bigger cube is 500 cubic centimeters how can you handle such questions you need to be very familiar in how you can handle such questions so now let's see they're asking us now to say uh, we have the we are looking at two things we have the ratio of the surface area so let me do this so we have what we call the ratio of area which is equal to 16 to 25 now when you have a ratio of anything you should go back to the origin and the origin is the ratio of heights you should find heights so if the ratio of areas is 16 to 25 go back first to find the ratio of heights before you find anything so you find what we call ratio of height now the ratio of height from area now if they've given you area and you want to find height just square root so square root the following square root of 16 is 4 square root of 25 is 5 then now the question is asking us to find volume so find what we call ratio of volumes so to find the ratio of volumes you use the ratio of height so the ratio of height is 4 to 5 so to find the ratio of volumes just raise them to the power 3 so power 3 even this one should be raised to power 3 so you just raise them to the power 3 so what do we get when we say 4 raised to the power 3 so 4 raised to the power 3 is uh, 64 because we are multiplying 4 by itself 3 times then 5 raised to the power 3 that would be 125 so this is the ratio of volumes and you know the bigger value represents the bigger volume so if they are saying we find the volume of the smaller cube so where there is a smaller value of put x if the bigger bigger cube is 500 so 500 is the bigger one so you cross multiply this will be equal to 125 x and this is equal to 64 multiplied by 500 then I'm going to divide by 125 even this side I'm going to divide by 125 that cause that cause then x will be equal to now we ask ourselves uh, how many times uh, uh, 125 can go into 500 so 125 into 125 is 1 125 into 500 is 4 so now when we say 64 multiplied by 4 what do we get so we get 256 so we get 256 so 256 will be in what cubic centimeters so like as you can see 256 is smaller than 500 so therefore this is the volume of the smaller smaller what smaller cube all right let's look at another question that's the question two teens are geometrically similar if the ratio of their volumes is 27 to 64 so ratio of volumes is equal to 27 to 64 before we look at anything let us go back to the origin and the origin is the ratio of heights now the ratio of heights from volume you find what we call the cube root the cube root of 27 
and the cube root of 64. So what's the cube root of 27? The cube root of 27 is a 3. What is the cube root of 64? The cube root of 64 is a 4. So that's what we have. So cube root, by cube root we simply mean, for instance here, cube root of 27, a number we can multiply by itself 3 times to give us 27. So that is a 3. So once we find the ratio of heights, now we proceed. The question is saying, find the ratio of their kept surface areas. So ratio of areas. How can we find the, the ratio of areas? It will be easier because we've already found the, the ratio of heights. So to find area from heights, you just square. So square, square. So 3 squared is a 9. Then 4 squared is 16. So, so 9 to 16. So that's it. So the ratio of curved surface areas is 9 to 16. Let's look at another question. That's the question. So the ratio of the heights of two containers that are geometrically similar is 2 to 3. Now here they've given us the ratio of heights. So already this one is already down to earth. They've given us the ratio of what is their height now so we're not going to reduce this if the surface area of the container is 80 square centimeters find the surface area of the larger container since we're looking for area therefore let us find the ratio of areas so ratio of areas will be equal to to find ratio of areas from heights you just see square so square of 2 is 4 Square of 3 is 9. What we're going to do, they are now telling us if the surface area of the container is that of the... So this one was supposed to be smaller container. So smaller container or small container is that. Find the surface area of the larger container. So the smaller container now, they've told us to say it's 80. So I'm going to put 80 where there is a small number and x where there is a big number then i cross multiply that will give me 4x is equal to 80 multiplied by 9 and i'll divide by 4 even this side i'll divide by 4 4 is gone 4 is gone x will be equal to 4 into 4 is 1 4 into 8 is 2 4 into 0 is 0 then what is uh, 20 times 9 that is 180 so we're getting 180 centimeter square. So that is the, the area of the larger container. So this is a very simple and uh, short topic. Now I want you to try out the following questions. So I want you to try out the following questions and see how you can uh, do this. So they're very simple and straightforward.